This is Artifacts of Mars. Um, get the kids out of the room. The language is likely to be a little raw, because I'm pretty ticked off. This is about Obama's uh, ISIS speech, which is total nonsense. I want to say another word, but I'm giving you a chance to get your kids out of the room first. All right. So, what's going to happen here? Let me explain something. First of all, Obama, we are in World War III, people. There's no question. You look at what's happening in the Middle East. ISIS is on move. Obama's been fomenting these Islamic revolutions all over the Middle East. He's a known Muslim. He's a Kenyan Muslim. He's well known over there, except the Americans call it a conspiracy theory when he's called that over here. We're in World War III. They're on the move there. The Russians are on the move in Eastern Europe. The Gooks are eyeball to eyeball with about 10 or 15 countries over in the Orient. Eventually, that's going to explode. They've bumped a few boats back and forth. Nothing serious yet. So, and our country is being threatened at home with the illegal invaders from the south. So, we are in the early stages of World War III. Make no mistake. I don't know if it's going to go nuclear, or whether this one will be com completely conventional, or what's going to happen. A full-scale nuclear war, nobody wins. You know that. Right? So, I'm going to tell this to you Christians. And agnostics and atheists, too. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. Put down your playboys. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. Especially you Christians, you always sing there saying, forgive, 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 thump, 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 thump on your Bible. Stick that Bible in your back pocket. Put down your Playboy, drop your cocks, and grab your socks. And get a rifle in the other hand. You have to have one hand free, put the ammunition in the rifle, and another hand to hold the rifle. That's the way it's going to have to be. Now, one of the things that's been said is, I'll get to Obama in a minute, but I'm going to explain something. Uh, Islamics have been on the move in South Central America for a long time. I've been hearing this for years and years. Now they're uh, recruiting down there. Then Obama goes and open up, opens up the door. And so Obama's been fomenting all these revolutions in the uh, Middle East, trying to get radical Islamists in all these different countries. Egypt, at least, rejected that. So Obama goes and foments all these revolutions in the Middle East, Islamic ones. And then we had this problem down in Central America where these Islamics are recruiting for a jihad, no doubt, against us. And Obama opens the door. You get it yet? Well, let me explain something. Let's say you have, you know, 100,000, which wouldn't be an unrealistic number, Uh, enemy troops converted to Islam coming across our southern border. All of them able to speak perfect Spanish so nobody would su suggest, uh, think anything. And a lot of kids that have come into our schools, kids in quotes, have gray hair. This is a known fact. They're uh, adults. 
So let me give you a little scenario here. Uh, all these kids come to school. Little six-year-old can't be a threat, right? Wrong. Well, first of all, these Islamics have no morals, no scruples, or anything. They have no problem blowing up a six-year-old to kill all this. They ain't got no problem with that at all. Except I don't think they'll be using suicide vests. That's what I've been hearing from uh, people who call into the talk show hosts. Talk shows, but more than likely they'll be a little more sophisticated. Something like using a laptop, for instance. Put some C4 in the laptop, make it look good. They bring it in the classroom, and then boom, 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 all across America, your kids start dying. Not to mention the fact they're bringing disease in. So boom, 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 boom across the uh, country in our schools. Total mayhem. And then, the media's already named these places. I don't know where all these places are. It's supposed to be like between seven and nine substations. I don't know how much truth there is to this, but only a small number of substations would cause mainland to go dark. If they were attacked simultaneously in coordinated attack. There was actually a professional team of snipers out in California. I think it was earlier in the year, less than two years ago, that took pot shots at a substation in California and the media didn't talk about it. Not much. I learned about it. I think it was in the Wall Street Journal, but most of them didn't even bother with it. So let me give you a little scenario. All you would need, assuming that's true about the seven or nine substations, however many it is, it's supposed to be a small number. All you need is one team for each substation <laughs> with an RPG and two shells. And you got total mayhem. Probably three shells to make it make certain. One shells to take out the fence. That's all you need is, you know, teams like that. And plunge the, plunge the entire country into darkness after the kids go boom, 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 boom in the classroom. Total mayhem. Then they'd be on even footing. They might be able to take us. And this is what I'm saying is they're coming in through the south. But it gets worse. And then we're going to deal with what Obama said with his ISIS speech. Said these aren't Islamic. Well, there's a fact I wasn't aware of. Uh, Mr. E.T. Williams on YouTube uh, pointed out that uh, you're not going to say Hamas is Islamic or Hezbollah or whatever. Fuck that. Come on, for crying out loud. Of course they're Islamics. Islamic is in the name. It's kind of sound like Bush's... Uh, Um, religion of peace speech, basically. It's fucking bullshit. So, you're in a lot of fucking trouble. What well, what Obama's doing is he says he's going to arm these so-called moderate Muslims in Syria. Which is going to piss off the Russians, by the way. To battle with ISIS. But first of all, there's no difference between them. That's utter bullshit. So, let me give you a few scenarios. First of all, the Russians and the gooks have told us to stay out of there. And we best heed. But Obama doesn't care. So, let me give you a little scenario. They go, go and take over Syria first. Then they uh, go and look at our ISIS brothers and say, Okay... Lots of other apples on this tree to pick. And they go on rampage in the Middle East and Africa. The only thing that might slow them down is Ebola. 
Ironically, Ebola might be a railway. I doubt anything would actually slow them down. Then maybe they move into Europe. This is assuming the Russians haven't nuked us. And at the same time this happens, you know, boom, 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 and our schools and our lights go out, and there's total mayhem, and these soldiers from the south attack us from within. This is the type of thing that I'm afraid of. Obama's trying to make it look like uh, these are moderate Islamics fighting the infidels. But in fact, all they're going to be doing is fighting their brothers for a little bit. And once they figure out, hey, we're all Islamics, we shouldn't be fighting each other. These Yankees really suck. We both of us hate them. So, what the fuck's going to happen? They're going to get together and they're going to form an army that's you know, ten times bigger than what ISIS has. And it's going to roll over the Middle East, and Africa, and Europe. Ultimately, probably. That's what Obama wants. This guy is a megalomaniac. Yeah, we're in World War Three, all right. You don't go arming these fuckers. The only thing you can do is nuke them until they glow. This is the only thing they understand. I would use battlefield nuclear weapons on them, as I said. So what's going to happen is... That's what's going to happen, I believe. Obama... You know, wants one big caliphate. Africa, Middle East, Europe, so forth. And eventually, the Russians are going to say, screw this. He probably wants one here, too. This is what's angering me. He's known as a Kenyan Muslim over there. They have no doubt about it. They're not even arguing about it. So, we get invaded from the south. Well, we're already being invaded. And boom, boom, boom in our schools. Boom, boom, boom. At those uh, substations. Power goes out. Country goes into panic. Let me explain something to you. This is why I say you Christians drop your playboys, put your Bible in your back pocket, and get a rifle, because you're gonna need it. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. The rest of you too. Let me explain something to you that you're not gonna fucking like to hear. You know what the fuck's going to happen if they were able to take out our power, keep it all out? For one day, everybody would be fucking mad, but we would get over it. Uh, two days, people are going to say, what the fuck? Because you're not going to have any fucking cell phone service, people. The cell phone connects with cell towers. Cell towers aren't going to have any power. So your cell phone's going to be next to worthless. You better get an AM radio and batteries to run it off. Have an AM radio, portable AM radio. But most of the news services aren't going to be running either. Because they're not going to have any fucking power. You ever think of that? The internet's going to be all but gone. But you're not going to have anything to use to contact it anyway. Right? So the internet will be gone. Uh, your phones will be useless. Your lights will be out. And the next thing you hear down the street is rat tat 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 here comes ISIS. So drop your cocks and grab your socks and get your rifles. You're going to need them. You still think it's a fucking joke? Let me explain something to you. By the end of one week, you're going to be fighting 
for food in the streets. By the end of two weeks, you Christians will be sitting there praying to God, or oh, there aren't going to be any goddamn ravens to bring you food. There won't be any goddamn ravens coming down from the sky bringing you crackers. Duh! What's going to happen is you're going to be in the goddamn dump shooting rats, and then fighting over who gets to keep the rat. You'll be in that dump with 22 poom! <laughs> and then you're going to be fighting over who gets to eat the rat. That's the truth of this. So get the fuck off. Get off the pot. Put away the playboys. Stop doing this thing. And start doing this thing. Drop your cocks. Put away the playboys. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. Fuck baseball. Fuck football. Fuck Hollywood. None of it matters no more. We're at war, folks. Wake the fuck up. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. Christians, put away your fucking playboys and get the goddamn get a rifle in your hand. Put your Bible in your back pocket. And get a goddamn woozy. You're going to need it. Jesus Christ. Unbelievable. Never on the facts of Mars.